Today on Logan Lee Adventures, we're flying back to back business class with Turkish Airlines from Europe to South America in the utmost luxurious way to travel through the skies. Come join me on this adventure with a pit stop at the Turkish Airlines Business Class Lounge at Istanbul along the way. So excited to be flying to Colombia. So we are flying from Amsterdam to layover in Turkey and then arrival in Bogota in Colombia. And we're doing it in business class, Turkish Airlines. Quite spacious and roomy with easy. Look, okay, I'm gonna show you how much room I have. So comfortable, especially since this first leg to Istanbul will be three hours, and then the next leg is 14 hours all the way to Bogota. It'll be my first time in South America, too. So, this is such a new journey, and I'm flying with Yarun. See you next to me. <laughs> Thank you. Already starting off with this cute strawberry welcome drink. Mm. I can't, okay, let's be real. I can't wait to see what the dining menu is because it's my favorite thing aside from all the space that we get. To start, I had the best of Turkish mezi, which is a selection of different cheeses, veggies, grilled aubergine, hummus, and other traditional amuse-bouche. Then I ordered the Tuscany-style vegetables with grilled sea bass, and then the filet of beef cutlet with butter, rice, and broccoli. Mmm! Overall, the dishes for this business class was quite simple, but just so tasty. And we have arrived to Istanbul for our seven hour layover until Bogota. So at Istanbul uh, Business Lounge, which beautiful, stunning. This is the second time that I get to be here, but the first time that I get to use their private suites. The private suites are, it's a little tricky to navigate because it depends on your flight. If you have too long of a flight, uh, too long of a layover, then you may not be able to use it. Too short of a flight or too short of layover, then you may not be able to use it. And it's usually, yeah, it's just for a business class. And once you get a private suite, this is what it looks like. It's literally a private suite, like a, a mini hotel in the business class lounge. Uh, so Yurun has one, I have one, because it's just single beds. And each private suite has a TV. Pretty, pretty nice, if I must say so myself. You get, you know, water, dental kit, and you also get this sweet card. So I can just go out to the lounge, explore, get food, bring the food here if I want. Basically, it's my own private room that I can rest up before the 14 hour flight. And I do want to check out because I see that this is so nice, guys. This is literally just like I'm in my own hotel room. Um, this view of the rest of the airport. Look at that. Pretty nice airport. This airport was renovated a few years ago. Let me just see the view of the hustle and bustle outside, even though it's completely quiet in here. Ah, you know I love to plop on Ooh, a good bed. And also, you can just book showers whenever you want and yeah, just go to the private shower and the showers are cleaned after each guest. Um, wow, this this feels nice. <laughs> I mean, flying business class was nice. The rest, pro having a little proper rest before flying business class again, super nice. 
All right, let's go explore the rest of the lounge. This is my second time at the Turkish Airlines Business Class Lounge in Istanbul, and as ever, it's so pristine. I love the interior architecture of this place. The lounge is so big since it's the flagship of their home airport, so even at peak times, it doesn't feel overcrowded here. There's a cinema here and also multiple hot food bars where the chefs make you dishes right on the spot. I'm gonna brush my teeth and call it a night. I really like the touches of fresh roses and the marble everything in the washroom. After waking up the next morning, Yuru and I boarded on the second leg of our business class flight and the newest business class model on Turkish Airlines. I was so excited to get on board and the first impression of these magnificent seats already blew me away. We are here. Oh my god, I am so excited. So, flying from Amsterdam now with our layover in Turkey, and now we are going to be flying to Bogota for South America. And I'm so excited because look at this little suite, it is so impeccably, beautifully designed. And right now, outside of Istanbul, it is snowing like crazy. Very shiny. So it's nice to be all cozy in here and getting ready for some tropical climate down in Colombia. And you know, this is the first time in two years that I've actually, that me and Yeroon, have had a like an adventure that is going to be outside of Europe. You know, we've just been living and staying in Europe for the last two years and so it's really nice now to like get out there and experience a whole new continent. Well, new continent for me. Ooh, the chef is coming by. Hello, how are you? Cool hat. <laughs> How are you? Good. You from? Ah, uh, Canada. Canada? Yeah, originally. Oh. Yeah. After flight is to Toronto. Um, uh, no. Uh, Toronto? Where is here? More, uh, Argentina. To Argentina. Argentina? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like to play. Thank you. So nice. The remote system here. Honestly, they doubled my joy of travel with special features like the in-chair massage, reading lamp, a 193 centimeter bed, which is way longer than me. And that's on top of the pre-boarding privileges like preferential check-in with our own business class line to avoid the airport queues and the extra luggage allowance, like <gasps> perfection. The chef just arrived and gave us our Wine and food dining menu. Let's go. So as you can see, me and Yeroon can't be really sitting side by side on this trip. He's actually in front of me, in the seat in front of me, because here for this 14 hour trip, if you want a window seat, it's the only seat. There's only one seat by the window. That's, that's, that's all you get. Uh, which is awesome for privacy and space. Whereas if you want to sit together, then there's seats in the middle row and it's two, two, two in the middle. Uh, but then you don't get the window seat and we both love some good view, you know? So that's why he's sitting in front of me. Just me opening up our noise cancelling headphones for the flight. I love the feeling of opening the tape like it's a brand new set. We got the toiletry kit here. As you can see, it's by Versace. And I love this beautiful Greco design on the back that runs through. I'm gonna open it and see what goodies we have inside. Let's see what I got in my bag. 
First up are these fuzzy bear-like socks. So cute. Then some Versace lip balm, which is always handy. Then we have some hand cream by Versace. Ooh, look at this! A hydrating mist. Very useful on the plane. Okay, now I'm rocking my Turkish Airlines slippers and off we go. Away from the snow and coldness. Thank you. It wasn't long until breakfast arrived. I love these Turkish delights with such cute salt and pepper shakers paired up with them. I had oven fresh croissants, select cheese and olives, and then this traditional baked spinach pastry roll. The stewardess came by and set up a whole sleeping set. It's so lush. There's a whole pad for my already comfy seat. So now I'm gonna lay back and relax. Okay, here we go. Going down and then cozying up with some movies. These are the anytime meals, which you can order, well, anytime. A vanilla cake, cheese sandwich, and some cookies. And of course I got them all. Before I knew it, it was time for another meal. What I absolutely love about this Turkish Airlines business class is our personal chef just for eight people that are in this section of the business class right now. His poofy hat, his poofy chef hat is just absolutely got me gushing and he's really sweet coming around to each passenger to discuss the dishes that he's making and serving them too. It really makes the personal touch just so wonderful for flying. Thank you, Chef. Bon bon appétit. Merci. This has been such a restful trip. And now the next food service is out. This looks so great. And this is only the starters so far. So I started off with the best of Turkish meze, which seems to be the Turkish Airlines go-to starter. Then the chef served me this sweet pumpkin soup, which is absolutely smooth and divine. With my starter is a wild salmon tartare and a prawn served in Armstrong straws. And also look how cute is this little light up candle. For the main, I chose the lamb shanks wrapped in aubergine tomato sauce and butter rice. Y'all, when I say I savored every bite, I mean it. The chef then came around again and served every passenger Turkish tea, which was such a lovely pairing with the desserts. I had a double chocolate cake, but my favorite was the sweet curd and apricot brioche and vanilla sauce. Like, I need a secret recipe to this Asa because it was such a true comfort bite. After my meal, we will be descending quite soon to Colombia. I hope you enjoy being part of my back-to-back -back Turkish Airlines business class flight. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like and leave a comment below. In the next adventure, we're going to hit the streets and finally starting to explore my first time ever in South America.